She's gonna ask us something on Edgar Allan Poe. The Haunted Palace In the greenest of our valleys by good angels tenanted, once a fair and stately palace, radiant palace, reared its head. In the monarch thought's dominion it stood there, never seraph spread a pinion over fabric half so fair. Banners yellow, glorious golden, on its roof did float and flow. This, all this, was in the olden time long ago. And every gentle air that dallied in that sweet day, along the ramparts plumed and pallid, a winged odor went away. Wanderers in that happy valley through two luminous windows saw, spirits moving musically to a lute's well-tuned law. Round about a throne where sitting, poor Phyrogene, in state his glory well-befitting, the ruler of the realm was seen. And all with pearl and ruby glowing was the fair palace door, through which came flowing, 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 and sparkling evermore. A troop of echoes whose sweet duty was but to sing, in voices of surpassing beauty, the wit and wisdom of their king. But evil things in robes of sorrow assailed the monarch's high estate. Ah, let us mourn, for never morrow shall dawn upon him desolate. And round about his home the glory that blushed and bloomed is but a dim-remembered story of the old time entombed. And travelers now within that valley through the red-litten window see vast forms that move fantastically to a discordant melody. While like a ghastly rapid river through the pale door, a hideous throng rush out forever and laugh, but smile no more. The Conqueror Worm Lo, tis a gala night within the lonesome latter years, an angel throng bewinged bedight in veils and drowned in tears, sit in a theatre to see a play of hopes and fears, while the orchestra breathes fitfully the music of the spheres. Mimes in the form of God on high mutter and mumble low, and hither and thither fly mere puppets who come and go, at bidding of vast formless things that shift the scenery to and fro, flapping from out their condor wings invisible woe. That motley drama, oh be sure, it shall not be forgot, with its phantom chased forevermore by a crowd that sees it not, through a circle that ever returneth in to the selfsame spot, and much of madness and more of sin and horror the soul of the plot. But see amid the mimic rout a crawling shape intrude, a blood-red thing that writhes from out the scenic solitude. It writhes, it writhes, with mortal pangs the mimes become its food, and seraphs sob at vermin fangs in human gore imbued. Out, out are the lights, out all, and over each quivering form, the curtain of funeral pall comes down with the rush of a storm, while the angels, all pallid and wan, uprising, unveiling, affirm that the play is the tragedy man, and its hero the conqueror worm.